that's really all that's in here. Oh, okay. I don't precisely want to leave that stuff unmessed with. Ready. I'm on it. Okay. How can I help? All right. So being a dwarf doesn't mean anything. Very well. Yes. Here I go. Save. Oh. to spell something out. On it. On it. Or maybe we just go around in a circle? She, she did. I... I'll get to it. Oh, I must gather my party. Oh, bollocks. Um... Oh, what was the other one? Oh, what was, oh, what was the other's insignia? No, 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 Just go right there. Yeah, on it. Okay, uh, it was all over the dwarven table. What was it? This? Okay. Um. And then... Oh, what was next? Oh, I should have paid a little bit more attention. Ooh. Yeah, I should have definitely paid a little bit more attention. This? Oh. Okay, okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. So, I think this is... Apparently, this is the ins an inscription. And I think we're going back and forth between the small and the big ones, and we're spelling something out. Oh, God. I'm going to need some. I'm going to... I'm, uh... Very well. I'm going to have a little... Oh! Oh! Okay, 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 okay. A 
Of course. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I think I got it. Hold on, Z, you, of course. you're quickest. Okay, this first. Okay, you hear a click. Oh God, where is it? You hear a loud click followed by 11 similar sounding clicks echoing through the room. Finally, you hear a loud clattering coming from the round table. Oh. Yes. Head round table. Not in here? Very well. What did that do? Coming from the room through the secret door. And Dan leveled up. Level high. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, make a save and level up Dan. Uh, Dan. Oh. Mm, boop. Dan. Level up. Boom. All right, Dan, what do you got for us? Boom. Uh, one level two, one level five. Got it. Done. Spells, please. One level two. Um, both here we'll do a, that and a level five. We'll do a stink, stinking cloud. Start now. We can now we can start uh, mixing up a little bit. This trap mm, was left. Uh, this trap has left me for dead, but it's just as well. I have felt the evil within me since the moment I stepped foot into this in this crypt. My actions no longer my own. My thoughts confused. My will gone. Perhaps another will discover the disturbance before it manages to overcome them. I found an, another route through a gaping hole in one of the prison cells in the orog infested area above this chamber but that led to yet more of their foul kin and a large grotesque beast that i could have sworn was speaking with me perhaps the evil was within and within my mind even then oh There it is. How can I help? All well. right. Oh. Okay. Hmm. It shall be done. Norlinor, Defiler, have you two come to desecrate the remains of our home? Absolutely not. Then why do you disturb this temple of Moradin? 
I was hoping to learn more of the conflict that occurred within this area. Two a cat. Oh, ew. Two catastrophes occurred within Dorne's Deep. The first was the destruction of our community at the hands of the orcs. More recently, there has been the occupation of our cemetery, the Tears of the Dead, by the necromancer Terracon. Uh, tell me about the destruction of your community. Throughout the history of Dorns, we've always had to contend with the orc hordes that threatened our way of life. However, thanks to inspired diplomacy between the leaders of our community and the elves of the se uh, severed hand, we forgot and uh, we forged an alliance that kept both our homes safe from harm. Corruption from within led to a falling out between our peoples, no longer organized into an effective, cohesive whole. It was only a matter of time before the orcs overran both settlements. Uh, I think I know what the corruption was, but let's ask, uh, what was the cause of the corruption? I am not certain, but it was uh, apparent, at least from our perspective, that someone was deliberately attempting to seed mistrust between the dwarf and the elven communities. Oh, so... Somebody, uh, someone gave those orcs and goblins. Oh, okay. So that entire ordeal and it actually was neither party's fault of the goblins and orcs actually attaining the weapons. It was just somebody who wanted mist. Okay, mm, why would they think you'd you'd su uh, supply our enemies with weapons? Uh, the elves felt we could not control our appetite for gold, so we were accused of providing the orcs with superior armament. Later, the elves took their accusations a step further and accused us of arming the orcs with the intention of having them destroy this sever hand. Who is providing? Uh, not any dwarf within Dorne's Deep, I can tell you that much. We were warriors, not betrayers, if truth be told. I believe both communities were deceived by someone within one of our own families. I know not who... But I hope that when that person meets their end, they feel the pain of every dwarf and elf that lost their lives. I had some que uh, had some questions I wish to ask you. Uh, what can you tell me about Terracon? A Terracon is a wretched necromancer that came to Dorne shortly after the strife that put an end to our community. He was aware of the tragedy that gripped Dorne's deep and knew it would serve as fertile ground to continue his research. What was his research? During the construction of the deep, we had the misfortune of un uncovering a cavern that housed an ancient vortex from the negative energy plane. Now, I don't know if some being from that plane felt our presence, or if that, or the vortex itself was disturbed by the intrusion, but shortly thereafter, undead began to appear. And these undead invaded Dorne's Deep? At first, it was merely a skeleton or two, nothing we couldn't handle, but over time, we received more and more reports of undead sightings. In the end, I don't think any of us were prepared for what would become known as the Battle of the Dead. How did the battle begin? One morning, our community woke to the screams of the son of Jamoth. He'd been playing with some of the caves near the forge and claimed he had seen a small group of skeletons. We went and f mm. we sent a few men down to investigate. They returned badly wounded. Oh, this is really not turning out well. Uh. One morning. Oh, okay. Uh, what have they found? Uh, Oh geez, this is, this is really, there's a lot more going on here than we were, than I was expecting. Okay. Hundreds of skeletons, zombies, ghouls, and other undead had suddenly appeared in the Vortis cave, preparing to attack the settlement. With time working against us, we assembled our remaining soldiers and went forth to vanquish the deceased. But, with, but hundreds of undead with even greater numbers to follow, the dwarves mm, would have been greatly outnumbered. 
No, Dorn's dwarf would uh, concede. No, Dorn, uh, Dorn's dwarf would concede defeat while our community was threatened. Our wounded began to accumulate, and many, and many our brethren joined their attackers in spiritual unrest that that day. No Dorn's, uh, Dorn's, no, oh, no Dorn's dwarf would it cons, oh, no Dorn's dwarf. Okay. I read that a little bit weird. I thought he was saying that, that, that was a, a no to our response. No Dorn's dwarf would concede defeat while our community was threatened. Okay. Uh, our wounded began to accumulate and many our brethren joined their attackers in spiritual unrest that day. Just as it appeared that we might have to retreat, a miracle occurred. Miracle? And from within the tides of flesh and bone emerged Jamop, hacking at the dead around him with a fevered glee, bellowing with laughter. With each swing of his weapon, the undead around him disintegrated, regardless of whether he struck them or not. It was a beautiful sight to see, my friend. Ah, he must have been a cleric. Though the undead fell around him just by his presence. How was that possible? And Jamop. Mm, Jamath and our community were touched by Morden that day. We later discovered that the vortex that had brought forth the undead was somehow reversed, returning the spirits to their home within the plane of negative energy. Hmm. Then Terracon came along as a, necro mm -hmm. as a necromancer. He must have heard about the vortex, correct? Yes, once our community no longer inhabited these chambers, Terracon took up residence in the Hall of Heroes with the determination to restore the Vortis. He is convinced that if he unlocks its secrets, he will be able to manipulate other Vortices throughout Faerun. Now, it seems the energies of the Vortices would kill any man that approaches it. Uh, Terracon knew no mortal man could ever master the Vortis. Shortly after his arrival in ho our home, he began preparing himself for the rituals necessary to become a lich. Fortunately, Terracon must have had, must have neglected some of the proper enchantments, as the power he wields are inferior to much of his kind. So, can you stop him? Terracon is much more powerful than I. Oh, I am... Fortune, I continue to inhabit these chambers with my own mind. Once Terracon learns of any dead within these halls, he seeks to destroy their will with his necromantic arts. Anything that lives, he slays. Suppose I could destroy Terracon for you. That would not be an easy task. You cannot destroy Terracon by, by striking him down. It is his life force that sustains him, not his shell. A phylactery. Life force? Uh, liches store their life forces within special constructed phylacteries. Most liches go to great lengths to protect their phylacteries, often placing them in remote locations where no one can find them. The safe then safeguarding them with enchantments. Terracon, however, feels his phylactery is, safe is safest close to him, and he has placed it within a crypt in the Hall of Heroes. So all we have to do is reach there and destroy it? The phylactery is not something that can be destroyed by common means. To destroy it, you'll need to remove it from this plane. A daunting task, to be certain. No less daunting than other possibilities. We've been forced to endure in north, in, in, in coming north. How can we remove this phylactery from this plane? What? Uh, I'm going to guess that we had to take it to the Vortis. <laughs> mm, that is where fortune favors us. Oh, the very... Vortis that Terracon is setting can destroy him as well. It lies within the Hall of Heroes inside the tomb of Jamoth. Any undead, be any undead being, regardless of power, is pulled back to the uh, dreadful plane of existence upon entry into the tomb. That is why I have never been able to enter the tomb myself. So I would need to take the phylactery inside Jamoth's tomb to destroy Terracon. Hmm. That doesn't sound too difficult. Man, so I would need to take the phylactery inside Jamal's tomb to destroy phyla Okay. Uh, ah, but to reach the Hall of Heroes, you will need to pass through the Tears of the Dead, where Terracon resides. Not only that, but the great door to the Hall of Heroes is locked. And I'm certain Terracon possesses the key. If you defeat Terracon's physical form, make haste for the Hall of Heroes, for he will only be subdued for a short while. I'll see what I can do. Let me ask you any other questions. All right. 
So who are you? I am known as Norlinor. While alive, I served as a priest of Moradin for our no, Moradin for our church here within Dorne's Deep. Specifically, I was given the title Artisan of the Forge, and it was my duty to maintain this place. I died defending this temple. I did not anticipate re revisiting it in the afterlife. Why are you, why are you here now? Uh, the presence of Terrakin, the necromancer who has taken up residence in the Tears of the Dead, has quenched the flames that gave the forge life. With the forge cold, the spirits of the dead have become restless, forced from their tombs into servitude for that monster. Almost all the dead of Dorne's Deep are now enslaved to Terrakin. I fear I am the only one who remains free. What can be done? Terrakin's transformation into a lich has caused enough negative energy to be drawn to the area that even our forges and machines have been affected. Perhaps destroying Terrakin would bring the forge to life again. One thing is for certain, as long as the forge remains cold, the spirits of Doran's Deep are denied our final rest. I'll see what I can do. Nice. Oh. Oh, this is nice. Oh, heal. Heal wipes away disease and injury from a target creature. It cures blindness, disease, poison, intoxication, and feeble mind, and restores the target to maximum hit points if he has been injured. The spell has no effect on undead constructs or exoplanar creatures. It cannot be cast by evil aligned characters. That's nice. And there's a resurrection. Okay, well. Oh, wait, nope, nope, nope. I don't want to specifically enter anywhere just yet. Okay, so what is what? Uh, to the gear room, to the tears of the dead. Oh. I still got the tower to face. Let's go to let's go do the tower real quick. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Of course. Okay. Ah ha ha, there's still this area too. Of course. Okay, let's uh let's deal with this real quick first. It shall be done. Proceed no further, travelers, as I would speak with you. Who are you? I am not what you see. I was a master, transmuter, a red wizard of Thay. My knowledge, vast and er... How was it that you came to be in your current form? My name is was Sablik Tan. Of my mis of my mistakes, one grew tired. He used my precious magics to make that which I am. Having much confusion as days move on, must tell you I am frightened. Oh, he's scared. That's why he talks like that. Okay. Because it's like Okay. Uh why are you frightened? Orogs that roam these passages, my passages, are my creation. They have much contempt for me. I cannot leave my form, my home, punishment for my ambition. I derived 
pleasure for altering against their will. I have much regret. regret. How can the situation be rectified? What is done is done. I cannot excuse my actions or my intent. I am not alone in guilt and I am consumed with hatred for one. Mm, responsibility rests, in, uh, rests not on my soul alone. I am but a pawn. Tell me more of your situation. I must be brief as I grow tired. You can help others and help me. Within these caves, the Orogs have a leader. Not only that role, but another he fills. What is this other role? He is one of six. His presence and others here to prevent intrusion. Placed by that one that would wrong myself and many, many others. Without his existence, his minions will scatter and the evil drow weaker. Gotcha. You want me to dispose of this leader? I'm afraid there may be no other way. I remain overcome with guilt. I cannot excuse my actions. However, my re uh, relevance in this world flickers and a far greater injustice burns bright. I will see what I can do. I am very grateful and, mm, grateful and know your actions extend beyond my plight. Before you leave... Mm, he will be in possession of a symbol, a badge. You must obtain this. Return with this and I will know you are true to your word. I will attempt to provide more insight then. I will return. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Apparently, these Orogs were completely created? Interesting. To victory. Do, 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 do. Oh, it looks like the correct. Do all these patches just connect? That doesn't seem like a very big map, so I suppose we can continue forward. See how things go. Krillog, who are you? What are you doing here? I'm looking for an Orog chieftain. You found him. What do you want? Come. I've come to a obtain your badge you will get nothing and you will die i beg to differ whoa oh no 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 damn it of course there we go there we go <laughs> oh dear, not identified. Oh, right. Uh, boop, 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 boop. A plus. Four. Oh, it's a two handed sword. Ow, balls. Rude. Yeah. I'm getting stocked up on gear. Can I find a place to sell? That would be fantastic. <laughs> oh dear. Really love a place to sell. 
No, actually, let's come back down here and rest. Now, the only person who's really out of any... Well, we're running out of spells. Uh, but once again, I'm not... I'm one of the guys that's not going to just, like, rest every chance we get. Which means we would, could rest, like, all the time after every fight. God, are, we, are you really going to go through all your spells? Yeah, you still got all, all these, all this, all those spells. Well, balls. Yes. Speak your mind. It shall be done. Did not mean to do that. Now we're going to run out of spells. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, and he died. Of course he did. Of course. 